Hey guys, how are ya? I hope everyone's doing well. I've got 10 quick items I want to show you guys. Just some stuff that I sold on eBay. Just some items to keep an eye out for. And in this video, we'll just discuss these items that I sold, how much I got, and why. And uh, hopefully, you guys can get inspired to get out there and make some money. First off, I got this Regis and Kelly coffee mug. It's an interesting item. Obviously, there's a lot of people who are big fans of the Regis and Kelly show. It's by no means vintage, but I mean, yeah, you know doesn't have to be. People will pay good money for something that they like, and it doesn't even have to be old. So I did sell this for $24.99 shipped, and, uh, you know, pretty good money on that considering I paid a dollar for it. Here's another nice mug I sold. This one I thought should have gone for more, but it sat for a while, and I kind of just marked it down. But this was uh, Vintage 1988 Hallmark Shoebox Greetings. And if you look on the bottom here, you can see it's, um, that's basically what the Shoebox Greetings mugs look like on the bottom. So that's how you can identify them, but these ones are pretty interesting. Some of them go for more than others. It really just depends on what the artwork is. This one's not that interesting. It's kind of just a little bit meh, but uh, I still sold it. You know, I only paid a dollar for it, so worst case scenario, I'm just, you know, I make a little bit of profit. But, I mean, this obviously did take a while. Here's a nice lot of Ralph Lauren polo shirts, uh, five of them, uh, size large, and these were just a whole big mixed lot, so... Uh, it doesn't really matter what they are as long as they're the same size. That's definitely going to help its cause. But for $65 for the lot, um, you know, not bad. Um, you know, I only really like to pick these up if I can get a whole bunch at once. Because otherwise, you know, you just kind of got money just sitting there that's not being listed. And it's never good to have items that are just sitting there that aren't listed. So I try to get them only when there's multiple of them. Here's a nice mug I sold, uh, Corgi Lover, you know, cute coffee mug, cup, pet, animal, dogs, puppy, brown, white. And the key here is, if you are a Corgi Lover, then you're going to want to buy this mug. There's no uh, two ways about it. And, uh, you know, hey, I mean, if, if I was a Corgi Lover, I would certainly want this mug. And someone who was liked it, so they paid me $19.99. All these mugs that have, like, a, a dog or a cat on them, it's just... Um, it's an easier sell than a lot of other things. Because people who love their pets, they get real serious about it. I don't know about you guys, but if you've ever known someone who like really loves animals, then they want to decorate their whole house with it, you know? Here's another item that I recently sold. And this one, actually, I sold this like just minutes after I listed it. Because what I didn't realize was that this was actually made in England. I didn't really look close enough at it. Some of these are made in China, and some of these are made in England. And the ones that are made in England are worth a lot more. But if you look at this, it says hand decorated in the British Virgin Islands. So, you know, certainly makes it a bit more valuable. But I still got $15 free shipping for each of them. And it went to one guy, so $30 free shipping. And I paid a dollar each, so $30 free shipping. And these basically shipped first class mail. They were very light. So that's pretty interesting. I was surprised at how fast they sold. So if you ever see the ones that are uh, made in England, then... Uh, they're worth quite a bit more. I probably could have gotten 40 for the pair had I paid more attention. Here's another item that I love to sell. The vintage uh, Wilton Columbia RWP Armatail bowls or plates. I sell them as well when I can find them. But basically these have kind of like a pewter look to them. They kind of have like this aluminum type metallic look to them. Um, and they're made out of Armatail, which is some sort of an aluminum, I believe. But it's basically just an alloy of some sort. Uh, I think it was invented in like the 70s. But anyhow... Uh, these are really popular. People love them. They're super in style. These things, you just can't freaking, you can't keep them in stock if you get them. So I just price them super high, and I wait for people to pay, and they always do. And I sold these for 90 plus shipping, and altogether, it was a lot of 12, and they were really heavily beat up. I mean, these were really beat, so kind of surprising I got that much out of them, but, you know, I picked these up for pretty cheap. I mean, you know, you pay a few dollars for these, but look, you can sell them for 90 plus shipping. I mean, I pick these up when I see them, of course, because it's just such easy money. Best of all, these things aren't fragile. You don't have to worry about breaking them. You don't have to worry about scratching them. They're very durable. So they're just, they're, they're one of my favorite items to resell when I come across them. Here's another mug I sold. This one, I believe it was an Odagiri mug. Odagiri is a really good one to look for. It was an interesting mug. It's really, really weird looking. Uh, very intricate, very nice design, and just all in all, a really cool looking mug. And I know that these sell really well. So if you ever see any of these types of mugs, you got to be careful. I mean, I don't want to steer you down the wrong path here, but 
Uh, if you see any that are, you know, like this and they got a whale on it, it's kind of like an Odagiri thing, I, I think. But uh, yeah, just keep an eye out for the brand Odagiri. You really want the hand-painted ones. This one is a great example because it sold for $25 free shipping. Here's another brand. I don't know if I've told you guys about it. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to pronounce it right, but it's Chaler. Uh, this one was William Shakespeare Speaks. And I'm kind of surprised this took as long as it did to sell because it is William Shakespeare and it is uh, Chaler, which has some ties to Starbucks. They've they've done some work together from what I gather. So kind of surprised this took forever to sell, but ah, I still sold it for $19.99. And this one was basically like new. It was in really good condition. But, I mean, you know, only paid a dollar for it. So totally okay with waiting on it for it to sell. Here's a set of the Rainforest Cafe 1999 mugs. Just a pair of these, um, nothing too special, but it's Rainforest Cafe. And if you know what the Rainforest Cafe is, then uh, it's a pretty cool place. I remember I used to go there as a kid all the time. They recently closed down one of the stores, and it was kind of a bummer, because I was like, oh, you know, I wanted to go back there, but hey, I mean, I got some mugs from there. And I actually just sold one, just sold another Rainforest Cafe mug just recently. So, pretty cool. But for these, I got $19.99 plus shipping, which is pretty cool, you know. Um, it's it, These weren't really that interesting. They were kind of, uh, you know, they got that jungle green look to them. But these were like new, and like I said before, it's Rainforest Cafe. So you can't get these anymore. Uh, they were made in 1999. So people who like Rainforest Cafe, uh, you know, they're going to be interested in this, and someone clearly was. The last sale I want to show you guys is this mug. So this one is a 1995 Friends TV show coffee mug. And of course for the keywords I used Warner Bros, EUC, 90s, sitcom collector. So of course it's always helpful if it has a date on it. In this case 1995 and it's Warner Brothers. So of course uh, if you look for this mug there aren't too many of them out there. So it's just an interesting thing. And oddly enough I actually mistakenly listed this one as new. Uh, but thankfully I got away with it. It didn't cause any problems. But I mean you know 24 dollars and that's pretty good for something I picked up for a dollar. So, like I said, you know, you can make a lot of money on the coffee mugs. You're not going to get rich doing it unless you were to sell a whole ton of them. Thanks for watching, guys. Give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. And if you haven't already, please do subscribe for more. Thanks. Bye.